Recording, good. I'm just doing a quick video here. All right, I don't know if I've ever, actually I just bang up. I don't know if I've ever um, uh, done a video or filmed this when we've been, when I've been, um, like when we've completed a unit. So I wanted to take you guys along with me while I do a quick check to make sure things are good before we move on to the next unit. Uh, and I figured I'd take you along and show you some of the things that we do and uh, pay attention to like the screw patterns and things and, and you can learn things yourself as well. So uh, yeah, pay attention. Corners are screwed off, uh, like we check all the screws, to make sure, you know, just make sure you don't see any sticking out. All the tops, all the tops are screwed in. All the bottoms are screwed in. Uh, you don't screw in close to the boxes, you know, you keep them, uh, you know, because a nightmare for taping. And uh, um, you don't want, like, especially before you router them out, you want to make sure the screwing, like the screws are way far away so they don't pop out on you but uh, other than that yeah you know uh, all the returns all the returns you cut back a quarter inch right so the corner beads can go on um, but yeah make sure you don't miss anything you know the ducts are all cut out um, the ceiling turned out beautiful what you want is the um, you, you want to minimize the joints as much as possible. Um, but yeah, this uh, these ceilings are turning out really nice. Um, but yeah, you can see our yeah, it's pretty cool, man. These are we've done a lot of these now. So uh, the bathrooms here, there's a drop ceiling in these, so we got to make sure there's the blue boards up there. They want that for their I don't know tile finish up there. Uh, but yeah, I'm just checking the ceiling and the, the bottoms, the bottoms are, you know, you always miss the bottoms and tops, so that's where you got to check, you know, make sure there's no studs missed. All of our windows were pre-cut uh, because you don't want to break the poly, so you can't put the sheet on and router them out anymore, so you now have to pre-cut everything, uh, which is okay. But yeah, let's see here. Whoa. Main room. These main rooms here take forever. Oh, hold on here. <laughs> yeah, like with all the, these main rooms take forever with all the details. Um, but yeah, you want to do all, make sure all your returns are done. And like I say, keep them a quarter inch away from the ends. You know, uh, so the corner beads can go on. The tapers will appreciate it. Right. So sometimes it can be a little funky, but. Um, yeah, it looks good though. <clears throat> Make sure, yeah, like when you're doing your walls, anywhere you can do a stand up to minimize a joint, like this is behind a cabinet, so it doesn't have to be taped, right? Now there's no no joint across the where the uh, plug is, right, or the switch. Sorry, well, the switches are all 48 inches, right? So they always end up in the bevel joints, so that's a pain in the ass. But uh, like for example here, right? You make sure the joint lands somewhere where the where the joint where the tape the tape joint will be small. Right, but yeah, looks good. But yeah, these ceilings, wow, turned out really good. Um, you can see what I mean by figuring out your layout so that the joints are is minimal. Right, all they have here in this whole ceiling is a joint here. Uh, well, you know, the butt joint, sorry. There's only one butt joint there. There's a butt joint, like there's a little tiny one right there, right? A little tiny one, and then there's this one here. So not much for uh, butt joints at all, right? You want to minimize those. Um, but yeah, look at that, it's gorgeous, right? Another bathroom. So yeah, we try to get a, a room done uh, right away so that we can use it as a garbage room and uh, yeah, that's the garbage for one unit uh, drywall is cheaper than tape. So You know you got in the of course. Yeah strips but um, 
Yeah, looks good. Air's a uh, big A. It's just yeah, finishing the, the the this new like little mechanical room thing uh, where the air conditioning and heating goes, I believe. So uh, that's fun. Uh, that's the second one he's done now. So the yeah, the biggest guy in the littlest unit. <laughs> it's um uh I like the enclosed areas and myself aren't is, aren't the best. Um, but uh, this year I think next time I'm gonna do a stand up to get rid of that and just put the joint above the door here. Um, and then yeah, so that'll eliminate that. So it'll come out uh, 48 or whatever. Um, maybe I'll cut three inches to make it a, a butt instead of a bevel to butt, right? A butt to bevel, it'll just cut it, you know? And uh, so that'll be a change I'll do next time for sure. But. I haven't done one of these units in a while, eh? Actually, eh? We've been doing enough McCorner units for the longest time. It looks good. I don't see anything, Aaron. I don't see anything. But yeah, you can see the ceiling, same thing, right? When you're doing, this is all double layer 5 8 ce uh, ceilings, so. But uh, yeah, most most of the drywall you see is 5 8s. This is all 5 8s, this, 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 uh, these units. Um, there is some half inch, but it's mainly five eighths. But uh, that's the unit, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else I can say. Um, yeah, yeah, just check your screw spacings, right? Like two in the field, and you know, keep, but keep away from the plugs. Oh yeah, this one is mint, dude. Mint, mint. Make sure there's no boxes missed and you're good to go. Right on. This little tiny, this is like the laundry room in here. So, cool. Very good. All right, moving on to the next unit. <laughs> Lay it on, dude. All right, that's basically it. I've done a walk. That's about it. I've done a walk around. Um, the uh, like the supervisor here on site will do another walkthrough. Make sure there's nothing. Um, and then yeah. So yeah, this, these the units are like double, triple checked. So um, everything's good. But uh, yeah, I don't see anything here. All the screws are sunk. Uh, everything is screwed up. There's no missing screws. So that's about it. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below, and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. Bye for now, guys.